Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Originally, I wanted to shoot a shoot with me vlog, but my studio and my office space are an absolute disaster. And <laughs> I realized I was gonna spend basically half my time cleaning up as I would actually shooting. So instead of taking you behind the scenes while I shoot, I'm gonna just do a relaxing cleaning vlog today. I'll give you a mini tour of my home studio and talk a little bit about where this channel is going in the future. Let's go. Welcome to my home studio. I feel like I talk about this a lot, but I started my photography business seriously in January 2020 and at the same time moved into a studio in downtown Oklahoma City. But as we all know, the pandemic hit in March and I just stopped going into the studio. I wasn't sure if it was safe and I really wasn't sure when I was going to be able to use it again. Thankfully, I was able to move out of the studio in June 2020, and at the same time, we bought a house. I haven't talked about this at all on social media because I felt like it was in poor taste to talk about buying a house during a pandemic when so many people were suffering. And really, this is not something we were planning on doing or preparing for for a while. We honestly found a loophole there is a program in Oklahoma that offers down payment assistance and so we were essentially able to purchase our house before the market blew up using down payment assistance and ended up not paying anything out of pocket for the purchase of our home. So we got super super lucky. Our house is an older house and it randomly has two living rooms so I took over the formal living room and turned it into my home studio. As you can see, it tends to get a little messy in here. When I was in the larger studio in downtown OKC, I did a really good job cleaning up after myself, but I'm not so good about doing that at home. I love the convenience of being able to shoot and set up anytime I want to, but I usually leave things pretty messy and move on afterwards. As you can see, a lot of boxes tend to accumulate in the home studio as well. We'll usually just toss the empty box into here before we take it to recycling, but gosh, they've just built up so quickly lately. You'll see that I have a lot of shelves, but not necessarily a lot of storage. I'm running into a problem where I have lots of small things, but not a great place to put them. This is actually our dining room table. I use it when I'm shooting products and our dining room is kind of a storage room right now. It's also super messy. So I've pulled the dining room table into my studio and that's my kind of workspace for the moment. I'm so wedding. For now, the studio is finished and it's on to clean the home office. And this is our home office. If you've ever watched any of my monthly vlogs that I was doing at the beginning of the year, which I should bring those back, I just got overwhelmed, you have seen my office before. This is the extra bedroom in our house that we use as a workspace. So we've got my desk in here, my boyfriend's desk, and a third desk that holds his gaming computer that I also use for editing videos. I guess we should probably talk about this channel and some changes that are coming. I really lucked out when I started my YouTube channel because I moved to France very soon after, so I had plenty of things to make videos about in regards to living abroad and the French language. But once I moved back, I really wanted to put that behind me because it felt like I was closing that chapter in my life and I just didn't want to keep talking about it while I was living in the States again. So I left YouTube for, I don't know, two years and I started making YouTube videos again last fall because of quarantine and I really like making them. But I started making videos specifically about photography and I just felt boxed in again. 
When I was making videos about France, I felt boxed into that. When I was making photography videos, I felt boxed into that as well. And I just want this YouTube channel to be something fun that I enjoy. And so, no more boxes. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sharing some language videos. For example, one of my goals this year was to learn Korean, but I felt like I haven't been able to share that on here. So I wanna go back to making more travel vlogs and sharing those, taking you guys on my language learning journey, whether that's with Korean or Spanish or French. I just wanna have that freedom to feel like I can make whatever I want. I'll probably take my photography stuff and keep it predominantly on Instagram, but maybe I'll make some vlogs for behind photo shoots and things like that as well. I really want this channel to just feel more casual and less constrained to this like optimization box because when I'm having fun making videos, they just come out as a much, much better quality must have a storm coming through because it just got so dark and it's only it's only 3 45 and it looks like 8 or 9 p.m outside so let's keep going i guess my desk gets so messy because i'm really really tired in the mornings i wake up early to teach english and then by the time i'm done teaching i'm usually exhausted and the last thing i want to do is clean off my desk Ideally, I'll be able to move my desk and workspace into the studio so that all of my stuff is just in one place together. cleaned studio my grand plan is to really transform this space right now I do store all of my equipment over here but at this point it's no longer very functional I have a lot of wasted vertical space and so eventually I would like to get some maybe like fixed cabinetry in here so let me show you what my kind of like plan is for this space once I have like money to transform it because I have no curtains, I keep all of my equipment here. This is a really big window and I'm gonna have to get like a custom curtain system for it. So I keep all my equipment here so it's not super obvious, but what I'd like to do, install some built-in shelving over here. And put my desk in right here instead of in the office. Then I could turn the other side of the room into a shooting room. So I would shoot down the room this direction. I would put any backdrops or any kind of shooting props over here. And this would really allow me to use all of this long space in the room because previously I've been shooting up against these walls, but that's like short ways in the room. So it really makes sense to be able to do it like this because then I can get further away from the object and I don't need to worry about that so much. But before any of that, I need to get some curtains for these windows. The thing is with the windows is that they are 10 feet long and so ideally I would like to have curtains that can open up all the way to the sides. So hopefully this is just like a temporary office tour and the home studio is improved and much more efficient in the next year or so. Welcome to my new and improved, or at least cleaner, office space. I reorganized my teaching supplies and I tucked them in between the shelf and my desk rather than right next to my desk. 
We love candles in our house, and so I went to our <laughs> used candle cabinet and grabbed an old candle, cleaned that out so that I could make a pin holder. So now all of my most used pins and highlighters live on this desk, which is really, really convenient when I'm wanting to plan. I tend to struggle with concentration and productivity, so I got this little night light for my desk. So it's basically like a peaceful and quiet Pomodoro timer. Eventually, I will move my desk into the studio so that all of my things are in the same place, but for now, this is where it lives, and I'm really, really happy with that. That's all for today's chill and relaxing cleaning vlog. I'm really excited to fix up the studio so I can show it to you once it's neat and organized and perfect. I'll see you guys next time, and if you liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Bye, guys!